the chairperson committee on delegated legislation order number nine motion consideration of the excise duty amendment regulations 2023 Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Speaker, for your consideration. I beg to move, uh, Madam Speaker, that this House adopts the report of the Committee on Delegated Legislation on its consideration of the Exercise Duty Amendment Regulations 2023 laid on the table of the House on Tuesday, 1st August 2023, and pursuant to Section 15, Subsection 4 of the Statutory Instruments Act 2013, approves the Exercise Duty Amendment regulations 2023 published as legal notice number 40 of 2023 madam speaker these regulations are an amendment to the principal regulations uh, that were passed in 2017 which are namely exercise duty regulations 2017 madam speaker these regulations the, amend the amending regulations there are a total of uh, eight uh, paragraphs, Madam Speaker, amending various uh, parts of the regulations contained in the excise duty regulations of 2017. Madam Speaker, the, the, the intention of these regulations is to introduce schedules to the specification of the metering, monitoring, and measuring devices or systems. Uh, and they will be introduced as two schedules in the amendment uh, that are being proposed to be approved uh, this afternoon, Madam Speaker. This is meant to create fairness for taxpayers and facilitate the effective administration of excise duty. Uh, Madam Speaker, the excise duty tax is a tool to influence the consumption of certain products generally on health, environmental protection grounds, it is also an important source of government revenue as excise on goods. The principal regulations, Madam Speaker, provide for installing metering and measuring devices and systems in the production system to ensure that the correct qualities of accessible goods produced or transferred are measured. The regulations, therefore, provide for specification for metering, measurement, and measurement and metering devices uh, or systems. This is, um, this is important, Madam Speaker, to ensure uniformity of such devices to prevent revenue leakages due to using uh, inappropriate uh, devices. Madam Speaker, these regulations expand the requirements to include importing or manufacturing packaging materials for nicotine and nicotine substitute. This will deter supply by the importer to unlicensed supply and manufacturers of products containing nicotine and nicotine uh, substitutes. Uh, Madam Speaker, this is, these are very important regulations because it seeks to define what a co manufacturer is, which was not in contained in the excess uh, regulations of 2017. What has happened, uh, Madam Speaker, in this country is that uh, as a result of uh, this production, being automated and sometimes others manual, it's been realized that uh, the, 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 the regulations as they exist do not capture the core manufacturers of these products. And so the, the whole intention, Madam Speaker, has provided in paragraph 7 of the regulations, of the amending regulations, it provides for the core manufacturers to be brought into the bracket so that they can also be taxed wherever the goods are stored or produced on and on and on behalf of the the, the, the principal manufacturer. So so the, the, the import, Madam Speaker, is contained in regulation uh, fifteen of the principal regulation and will be amended by these regulations uh, to provide details of raw materials received and removed from the premises of the co-manufacturer. It also will pro provide for production records at every stage of the manufacturing process. And thirdly, it will also ensure that the packaging materials received and utilized in their premises are also recorded. And finally, the readings of, an, of measuring and metering devices
for each co-manufacturer production is also recorded. And so this will announce, uh, announce uh, Madam Speaker, the, 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 will, will improve the tax compliance and create fairness for tax, uh, uh, tax, uh, taxpayers. The, the, lastly, Madam Speaker, these regulations are intended uh, not to have uh, direct impact in terms of, uh, of revenue, but uh, it is intended to have an indirect impact that leads to revenue mobilization by improving just compliance, Madam Speaker. We're just bringing in those people who are supposed to, have to pay taxes and they have not been paid. So this is just purely to improve compliance of, uh, by, by taxpayers uh, in terms of paying taxes. And so, Madam Speaker, that is, it is indeed very brief, very short uh, regulations, and I beg therefore to move and request the Honorable Sunkuli, the former Minister of Internal Sec uh, Security, uh, to second. I thank you. Um, <clears throat> Madam Speaker, in seconding this um, motion, um, I must say that I am one of the members 